there's been a couple different types of battle passes. When they first introduced the battle pass, it was honestly pretty decent. They updated it, made it new, and it was perfect. And then they recently changed it to what it is now. And I would just like to go over a couple things. And I'm assuming a lot of you guys may agree, might disagree, either or. Whatever you have to say, put it down below in the comment section. And by the way, if you haven't joined the server already and want to, be sure to click the link down below in the description, click on start playing, select which server you want to play on, register an account, and download the launcher, and you should be good to go. I'm not sure when you're seeing this video, but there might be a new update out at the time you're watching this video. Maybe it hasn't come out yet, maybe it has. Either way, it's going to be a pretty great event for all of the families. It's content-based, and I honestly can't wait to try it because I'm recording this two days before that update comes out. But either way, let's jump into it. So as of now, I am level 66 in the Battle Pass. Now there is one thing I do like about this Battle Pass, at the same time I don't like it. Let's say there's an update, right? You grind for some Grand Coins, and you want to spend those Grand Coins ranking up in the Battle Pass. In games like Fortnite, or Call of Duty, or pretty much any other game where there is a Battle Pass, it only take a little bit of those points to level up. Now, if you were to buy those points, for example, buying 2,600 COD points in Call of Duty, that will get you a couple solid levels in the Battle Pass. But in Grand RP, for some reason, if you buy points, which we're going to do right now, how many Grand Coins do I have? Probably not that much. <laughs> I have 36. All right. So we have 2,350 points. We need to get 13,000. Wow. Lovely. Let's buy two grand coins worth. All right. That is $2. Now, just saying, in COD, 2,600 COD points is about $20. So let's get that. And just so you know, 2,600 COD points would rank you up significantly in that battle pass. And same thing with Fortnite. We get this. We get 200 points. And yes, I did just buy that. Wow, would you look at that? Literally made no difference. A hundred points does nothing. Even if you're level one, you still need, what, like a thousand points or something? And you'll end up getting to 20,000 points, which I believe is the cap, meaning you'll need to spend 200 grand coins to go up one level. Now, like I said, some people might like that because then you can't pay to win for the battle pass. You actually need to grind it out. But then we go to the assignments and here's where it gets annoying as fuck. Just saying, I ended up actually re-rolling a lot of my weekly assignments because I could not be asked to do some of these dumbass things that was listed here. Write a message to the player on the phone. Yeah, I mean, I could do that. Earn $100. We can literally do that during this video. Play for an hour. This one right here, bottom right. That took 70 hours. I had to leave my PC on overnight. No, I did not anti-AFK. Anyone who anti-AFKs, you're gonna get fucked. Even if you're in my family, if I see you doing it, I'm instantly reporting you. Don't do it. There's no point. It's not worth it. Fertilizing beds, easy. Selling items, easy. Complete tasks, easy. I also spent about 20 grand coins, maybe 30 grand coins re-rolling these tasks to get the tasks that were actually easy to do, but there's some other tasks that are absolutely bullshit. And one of the worst things about these tasks, let me just uh, recall my cards really quickly because I don't know where the hell they are. And uh, actually, wait, let me let me let me let me send the message in the chat. Anyways, well, uh, I let people get back in their cars if they need them. The worst part about those tasks, whenever you do end up re-rolling them, you end up getting the same crap constantly. Go and get. 50 logs from the lumber yard and and if i'm being completely honest every single one of the tasks are on the tip of my tongue i just can't remember them for the life of me but i'm sure you guys know exactly what i'm talking about in previous battle passes there were some that seemed annoying but i would much rather have them now like for example watering 800 beds on the farm i'd be perfectly fine with doing that instead of getting like 40 seeds because that took me an eternity or getting 50 pieces of lumber like It'd be so great if there was a whole lot more tasks that we were able to do just because some of them are really annoying like i understand it's a weekly task so if it takes two hours to complete that makes sense but if some of the tasks are just super dumb and just consistently repetitive it gets really really annoying and then here's the other thing let me let me park the car again i know we haven't even left the garage yet my g holy shit let's take a look at what we can actually get from this battle pass and I'm just going to be honest here. Previous battle passes have been way better. One thing I do like are the car crates where you can win a random car. Well, let's take a look at the first page. Tell me, is there 
anything you guys would want here? Hell no. God, no. Nobody gives a crap about any of this. Second page. Grand coins. Yeah, I'll take that for sure. Battle pass points. I don't care about it because every single thing that is accessible in the shop that you can use those points for, you get from the battle pass itself. So I was just kind of confused about that and wondering why they decided to do something like that. Not too sure, but either way, scrap metal, I don't really care for that either. I get it all the time. Cocaine, I mean, I, I don't really care. Hoodie, it's ugly. Gun, don't care. Battle pass points, like I said before. We got the car. Now, here, here's what's uh, solid. The first 136 levels, the only cars you can get are garbage. The best car is going to be the Evo. Second best, 100% to Ford Focus. If you don't get either of those, sell them to the government. Even if you get those, maybe sell them to the government. They're not the greatest cars in the world. We can get some Balenciagas here, but to be honest, they're not the greatest in the world. They don't really look that nice. I think I just dropped them on the floor. At least I, th I think those are Balenciagas. I'm not 100% sure. They looked really weird when I put them on. But either way, Revolver, who cares? Body Armor. Like, look at this screen. There's nothing satisfying. Even this engine, I believe, is level 1. We head to the next page. More garbage that nobody cares about. A freaking PDW. We keep moving on. Grand coins, I'll take those. Money, I'll take that. Ugly shorts, ugly pants, ugly shirt. Gardener's case. Don't care for that at all. And another shitty car. We just keep going. It's the same thing over and over again. It's just a bunch of garbage. Like I said, even these, I believe these are level two brakes, level two transmission, five juices, one grand coin, five juices, battle pass points. And this is a level three engine, I believe. Yeah, that's a level three engine. I think I just got that recently. Shotgun, money, grand coins. Like I said, same crap, ugly cars. We keep going. We keep going. I've gotten all this stuff and I just haven't been happy with it. I mean, I got this. I feel like maybe this is where it starts to turn good. At the same time, maybe not. We get a level three transmission, which is nice. Maybe about $200,000 worth. And I believe you could sell these. If you can't, then that's crap. Uh, same thing, level three tires, some juice, a really disgusting hoodie. Really, really disgusting. Nobody cares about this. Grand Coins is great. Prime is great. Nobody cares about this. LV shirt. It looks cool, kind of, because it's LV, but when you put it on, it's really just not it. Some more transmissions, and then here we get back-to-back -back shitty cars. Not good cars, shitty cars. The best car you can get is the Evo, like I said. So, yeah. When I mentioned it before, it's literally just a bunch of, like, half-assed crap. And I'm not blaming the developers. They put it together fairly quickly. It looks pretty decent. There's some nice stuff that you can get from this battle pass. It's just a lot of it could have been a lot more useful. Like, out of all of the cases, I would have much rather gotten a car case that had four different cars in it, or five different cars, some of the older crates that we have in the city. That would have been awesome, instead of a gardener's case. Some people might like it, some people might not. Either way, there's a lot of shit, and did we not just see this bunny costume, like, a couple pages ago? Like, it's back again? That's great. The little Shrek... Nah, I, I write that, but I swear we I swear I'm about to win that. Where is it? It's somewhere down here. I'm literally about to win a Shrek shoulder pet, am I not? Unless no. Okay, no, I'm tripping. No, it was down there. Okay. Okay. My bad about that. But yeah. Here, level three fishing rod, some brakes, heavy sniper, money. That's nice. But you gotta keep going and going and going and going and going. And then you get a chance at winning. Where is it? It's the next page. After that. Yes. There we go. One level up of cars. Now, this is level 136. There's a couple people that are getting close to it. Props to them. If anybody could take a screenshot of what car you can win from that, be sure to send it to me on Discord, tweet at me on Twitter, or just comment on YouTube telling me the names of the cars that you can win from it. Because there's a couple people here that are getting close. So if you know, let me know. It takes 136 levels to get a car that is worth over a million dollars to the state. And so far in the city, nobody knows what six vehicles you can get from this. And then we keep going. We get another one, which is nice. But like I said, nobody knows what they're going to be yet. Some more stuff, possibly a solid backpack here. Once again, nobody knows at the moment. In terms of the stuff you actually get from the battle pass, within the first 130 levels is just garbage. 
like 90% of it, I end up just throwing on the ground because I don't care for it. The clothes don't look that great. The other stuff, like, yeah, you'll get some seeds here, metal here. That's common, obviously, but the clothes and some of the containers that we get they're just not the best. Like, I mean, I don't want a gardener's case. I'd rather have luminous wheels, to be honest, to toss on my, you know, beautiful vehicles like this. Even though the wheels are not worth a whole lot of money, why not grab them, right? It'd be nice to have. End of the day, when it comes to the battle pass, like I said, there have been some great ones, like how it was previously, where every couple levels you would win a car. I do like how they have these car cases, but at the same time, I don't like how it takes 136 levels to get a decent car. The question is though, is that car even free to everybody or do you actually need to own the battle pass? Okay, at least the very first half decent car is free. So you get one decent car here. Everything before this, like I said, just garbage. Next one, if you don't own the battle pass, you can't get it. One after that is only for the Premium Plus Battle Pass. So people who haven't bought the Battle Pass, you get one car so far in terms of, like I said, decent vehicles. And then you get the upgraded crate, the Supra crate. If you have it free, you can't get it. Same thing with the Jamero, which I cannot wait to get. I'm definitely getting this. I just don't know when the Battle Pass is going to end. It doesn't say anywhere. So I'm praying I can make my way up to there. But either way, we keep going. We get a... Uh, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Who knows? I, I'm not going to try to guess it. We keep going, no cars, and then we get to the best container that you could possibly get, and it's only for Premium Plus. Please tell me they give, they don't give it for free. Wow. Okay, so if you don't even own the Battle Pass, uh, you're not going to be able to get the best cars from this Battle Pass. You have to have the Battle Pass in order to get it. In a way, I guess that kind of makes sense. I mean, you get to the final level, and... It's premium plus only. I mean, I guess th that's kind of dumb. Like, even if you, you complete the battle pass with the premium one, you're going to get a car from here. I mean, either way. I honestly just think the way sh they should have orchestrated it would have maybe been toss one good car in some of the basic crates. The one with the little beetle on it. And then five shitty cars. Or five cars that are worth less than a million to the state. And then for the second level which I would have put at maybe level 50, would have been two decent cars. One, really cool. Another, pretty damn great. And the rest, eh. You know what I mean? And then level three, we would do half and half. Three pretty decent or great vehicles, and three that are just kind of all right. Level four is the good one. That's the great one. Not the best, the great. Where it would be four sick-ass vehicles and two that are all right. And then level 5 would be just all sick-ass vehicles. We're talking Concept, Maybachs, Bugattis, all kinds of crazy shit. No matter what, you open that, you're getting something dope. And even when it comes to clothing, you know what I would love to see? Untradeable, luminous, Louis Vuitton clothing. In the city, of course, it's extremely rare to have a black LV top or a white LV top or some blue LV pants, pink LV pants, stuff like that. I've had it before in the past. I'm really not a huge fan of it, which is why I decided to give most of my money away instead of buying clothes because I don't really care for it. I don't think it looks that nice. You're kind of just flexing, which I completely respect, but it's just not really my style. I'm not a huge fan of it. And I would have bought it before, but it's just, I don't really care, like I said. But I'm sure a lot of people probably want it. So you never know. Might be cool to see something like that in... The battle pass either way when it comes down to it i really hope the next battle pass is improved a little bit because getting to level 136 to get a half decent vehicle in my opinion is kind of crappy compared to battle passes previously where you'd actually be able to get some pretty nice stuff and you didn't even have to rank up that much i think i got to like rank 100 and i got some pretty decent clothes cars and other crap and i was pretty happy but right now I have been grinding my ass off doing repetitive tasks, even when I reroll them, spending grand coins, I still get the same crap consistently. There's been times where I've spent grand coins and then I got the same task that I was trying to reroll in the first place, multiple times, along with other ones that I didn't want. It'd be great if we got some new ones and stuff like that, but I feel like the battle pass could definitely be improved on a little bit. It's not just about changing the UI. It's about making it better for the community. So like I said, comment what you would want to see 
in the battle pass in terms of items and how you would want the task to be because you never know it might end up happening like i said the new update that's coming out is tailored more to content which is exactly what we want to see something that's not completely tailored to paying to win anyways let me know what you guys think i hope in the future we see something like that maybe the next one who knows either way thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and with that said i will catch you guys in the next one